Next up is Michael with Grading Schemas or Grading Skills in DBLearn. Go ahead, Michael. OK. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, what most people refer to as grading scales, but what Blackboard calls a grading schema. Um, and that is basically the way Blackboard converts raw numbers or raw scores to letter grades. Uh, OK. Sorry. Um, section 1. Grading schemas. Uh, Blackboard defines a grading schema as a diagram based on percentage ranges that match scores to specific grade displays. So what does that mean? This is the default grading schema in Blackboard. Um, it is probably not what you expect when you or it's probably not the schema that you or the scale that you've handed out to your students. It's probably not exactly what you expect, but it's uh, something similar. Uh, so it just defines what's in A, you know, what's in A and A minus, B plus, etc. Um, the grading schema is found in the grade center. So you locate the grade center. Uh, you first go to the grade center, which is down here, and then click on full grade center. That will bring up the grade center screen. And then you click on manage and go to grading schemas. And from there, you get to the screen where you can edit and manage grading schemas. The this is the this is that screen the uh, edit grading schema screen. Uh, from here, you can do four things. You can create a new grading schema by clicking this button, or if you go to the contextual menu, then you can also edit, copy, and delete schemas. Uh, you can only delete schemas that you create. You cannot delete the default schema, which is called letter. Uh, to create a grading schema, if you click the Create Grading Schema button, you'll be presented with this screen. And you are given the most minimal type of grading schema you could possibly ask for. It's basically like a pass-fail schema. In fact, if you wanted to create a pass-fail schema, you could simply name it pass-fail over here, and then change this to a pass, change this to the word fail, and then set your range here, 70 to 100, whatever range you want. And then when you click Submit, you will have a uh, you will have a pass-fail schema. However, most likely, instead of creating a new grade schema, you'll probably want to edit uh, a schema that already exists. Um, so um, using the, um, working with the schemas that already exist, if we um, uh, most most likely the first most likely what you will be I'll get it I'm sorry I'll get it into a little more of that in the demo exactly how you go to edit a schema that's easier to demo but um, to uh, apply the schema to actually use the schema you would go back to the grade center and you can click on the contextual menu on any column that you're interested in. Most likely, you're just going to want to use the grading schema for your total or a weighted total column. By default, you're just going to see a raw score in this column. However, when you click the contextual menu and then hit Edit Column Information, you will be taken to a screen where you can change several options about the column. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit in that screen, you will see primary display and secondary display. By default, you are just going to see a score in primary display and nothing in secondary display. 
the difference between the two is that uh, primary display will show for will, will be displayed to you in the grade center and it will be available to the students in my grades. The secondary display is just for the instructor and does not show up under for the students in my grades. So if you were to go and change uh, change one of the displays to letter, then go to the uh, next, then go back to the screen. In this case, this is what it would look like if you had um, left the primary display as score and the secondary display as letter. You, uh, If a student were to log in at this point and click on My Grades, they would see their individual scores from the individual assignments, and they would also see the total now represented as a letter grade. Now, uh, just to give you a brief demo of copying and editing a schema, Um, just a second. Um, uh, okay, just one second. Uh, start sharing, and there we go. Okay, now. Um, when you uh, when you log into your course, you will see a screen somewhat like this. The uh, and a, by default the announcement screen. If we go to the grade center, Michael, we can't see your screen. But oh, sorry. Uh, okay, just a second. I'll stop sharing again and start again. Okay. Can you use uh, Bill, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Okay. It does not I forgot. It does not like being on my uh <laughs> Collaborate does not like having it on the uh the screen in front of me. I've moved the moved the browser back to the I guess what is the primary display screen. So when the uh, yeah, when the instructor logs in and goes to Grade Center, you, you will see something like this. And in this case, I have the totals column set up uh, just in the default way where it would show just a raw total. If I click on edit column information, I will see the screen that I just talked about. And here you can see the two options for primary and secondary display. I can change score to letter and change secondary display to score. And 
when I come back to the screen, I can now see letter, letter scores with the uh, raw score in parentheses. Uh, now, uh, like I said, you may want to make some changes to the schema. So if I want to, um, for example, say I do not want to have minuses in my class. I want to keep the same schema. I just don't want to give out minuses. I'll give out, I'll let students get pluses, but no minuses. Then I could go to grading schemas and say I'm happy with the letter schema. That's a good place to start. And I would hit copy. Now I have a copy of that schema. I can hit edit. And I can say letter. No minuses. Letter grades with no minuses. Then we have the original schema. And this was actually fairly easy. You could simply delete the minuses and then reset the percentages so that uh, your A, maybe you want the A to go from 90 up to 97, 80, 70, and 60. So there, now I have a uh, full grading scale with, with no minuses, but pluses are allowed. If I hit submit, I will <coughs> return back to the grading schema edit screen. And hitting OK there takes me back to the full grade center. Now, you can see uh, I've, uh, Michael Bonanno has earned an A minus in this class. And uh, <coughs> test three, Testerson, has earned a B minus in this class. But like I said, I, d I, I don't want that scheme. I don't want to use minuses, so I will edit the column information, and I can choose now letter no minuses as my primary display. After I click Submit, I now, Michael Bonanno has an A, Tess Desterson has a B. Okay. Um, okay. That concludes my that concludes my demo. Uh, now, just the uh, little summary. The schema simply matches a raw. Or, or even a weighted score to a grade, a letter grade, or some other kind of text-based display. Uh, like I, we, I briefly talked about uh, changing it to pass/fail. Uh, it could have other. You could actually put anything in there. It could say good, excellent, great. Uh, but you know, in general, uh, the in general, the most useful thing is going to be just to uh, use the schema to translate raw numbers into letter grades. Since the schema may not match your intended grading scale, you should uh, look at the schema first before you, make, before you decide to use it, and then edit it uh, to in the way you intend to match up your grades to the scores to your grades. Now, the one thing to remember, changes to the default schema stay with your course. Um, you're not changing the default schema for everyone. And once you've made changes, they will not change if anyone else changes them. And they stick with the course. They do not become new defaults for you as an instructor every time a new course is created. If you want to uh, use, reuse an old schema, you can copy the course. Uh, you can copy the schema from your old course to the new course. And you just have to make sure that you 
choose the option to, to copy Grade Center columns and settings when you choose to copy your course. Uh, from the options, from the select copy options area of copy a course. And finally, the other thing to remember is students will only see the primary display in my grades. So when you go to the grade center um, and adjust the display of primary and secondary, secondary is only for you. The students will only see the primary display. Any questions? Okay. I guess we are done. All right. Next week we'll be doing course copy and course augments and merges with me and Bill. Thanks for joining us and have a good week.